You guys, this haul is so good that I had to split it into two videos. So this is part one. I'm a vintage home decor reseller and today I have a haul video for you. So usually I would take you shopping with me first and then we would bring everything home and I just let you know what I'm gonna keep going to sell my Etsy shop. But today I just have the haul for you. I'm just gonna go straight into it because everything happened so fast at this estate sale. So I had a friend of mine text me um, a listing on next door for an estate sale. She said, hey, is this like the type of pottery you look for um, for your Etsy shop? And it was like, the most amazing like table of all this pottery. And the best part about it is there was a sign that said pottery, $2. And I was like, ah, studio pottery, $2, yes please. So I like set my alarm, went to the sale, of course came across some of the other resellers in the area and the stuff was so good and everything happened so quickly. I didn't even have time to film. I didn't have time to film anything because I was shopping so fast, so furious to get the stuff. So actually not even have enough cash with me because I found so many things. It was cash only. So I actually had to go home and then I went back to the sale, brought my mom this time to even more shopping. So yeah, needless to say, I have so much stuff to show you. I had to split into two things. So we're going to jump right into it. I have art, pottery, other stuff to show. I mean, it's just crazy. So yeah, there is a lot of variety in each of the videos. So part one is coming at you right now. Okay, so I don't even know where to start. <laughs> Frankly, I'm just gonna like, just gonna grab something. Okay, so we'll start with the pottery. We'll start with a bunch of pottery. I'll try to mix it in because maybe you don't want to see like all the pottery at once. We'll just mix it in. So um, a lot of studio pottery. So I don't know if the, per so the person at the sale was an artist. They collected art, they made art, and they just, it just it's just insane like all the stuff. So uh, first piece of pottery that I got and picked out was this beautiful um, studio made jug. It has like the maker's mark here. It has the cork here. Um, I, you know, these types of pieces look amazing, especially in a kitchen because they're just so special. So yeah, had to get this one. I mean, it was so, I just was like grabbing. These were $2 a piece. I was just grabbing. So I got that piece. I got this really cool one with the swirl really petite a lot of the pieces were actually petite which is what's so funny about it like usually you know pottery collections are all different sizes this was like the most petite pottery collection which of course appeals to me because i like things that are small i got this really cool green vase i mean look at the swirls on it i thought this was incredible i got this really cool Base here with the brown and the two different tones. This is very shiny. This is like definitely more of like a silky finish. I got this really adorable blue base here, which I thought was lovely. Um, I just like love this type of clay that has a lot of like the bits and stuff in it, which if you watch my channel, you know, every time I find that pattern, I'm like, I love this. I got this very cool piece here. I loved the green. And then also look at these like, cool tones inside. So also this shape, I mean, how cute is this shape? It's very, very cute. Actually, maybe I'll just, I'll just show you all the pottery. So <laughs> keep moving on. So this is going to go fast because I have just so many pieces to show you. So I got this little guy here. Now I think this is, might actually be made out of porcelain. I mean, look at the blue. I mean, all of these pieces are great just little styling moments um, in your decor. So I just love pairing these with other decorative objects. You know, you wanna round them out, um, you know, and these are just like great, like pops of texture and visual interest. It just like cannot get enough of small little vases. I also got this one. This might be one of my favorites too, because look, the texture on the bottom, the shape is very narrow. I mean, these even like with or without, you know, a stem um, are amazing themselves. So this one I thought was really pretty. And then I got this one here, which actually this is a type of um, pottery actually from the UK. So where there were other pieces were studio pottery most likely. Um, this one is actually like a manufactured piece, but I just thought, 
I just loved the green color and the swirl. I need to like look it up. I always forget to do this before I film to look up and see exactly. Uh, maybe I will have done that by the time um, I will have filmed the video. So yeah, this one I thought was very cool. And then what other one have I not shown? Oh, this one, okay. So my favorite one of all the pottery pieces that I got that day was this one. I mean, look at the colors, the bobbles. It has like this amazing camel color and then the green. This is definitely like another studio made piece. So yeah, very cool collection of pieces of pottery. A lot of variety in color. I was like literally just grabbing the other women that I were, were with, they were just like, boom, 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 like boxes of them, like grabbing them and grabbing them. And, and so it was like, I was like, ah, so I had to like move quickly. And so these are the pieces that I was able to get. Oh, one more and this one, I may keep for myself. And when you see it, you're like, that does look like something you wanna keep. I mean, look at his little feet. It has a little tiny hole there to put like a dried flower in. I mean, so, so cute. Actually, I'm gonna grab a, um, a billy ball that I have here and see because I have like a whole thing right there. I mean, look at, oh, I need, well, obviously it needs more than one, but how cute, like so cute. Anyways, thought that this was very cool. I may keep this one, but the other pieces of pottery. So these are the two I may keep. I haven't decided, but the rest of them, I definitely planned a list in my Etsy shop. So I cannot believe all the pottery I got. The next haul from this particular shopping trip at the state sale. I will have more pottery in that too because I split it between. So yeah, there's more pottery coming your way. Something ceramic that I got that I'm not gonna sell that you're probably like, well, good, because it's weird and who would want to buy it? But I just like fell in love with this like guy. I don't know, it reminds me of um, the Dobby on Harry Potter. I don't know, it just kind of reminded me of a Harry Potter character. I loved his nostrils. I mean, how hysterical is that? So this was like a dollar 50 cents. That was the tricky part of this sale is only the pottery and the embroidery that I'm gonna show you were like priced. Everything else was like a free for all. So we had no idea what the prices were, but she priced stuff to move. I mean, that was the, that was the thing, like the, Stuff at the sale was incredible, and it was stuff that we usually don't come across that often, and that volume of stuff. And not only that, the prices were so good. So between the haul you're gonna see today and the haul I'm gonna film next for you, um, I think I spent I spent a little over $100. I think it was $103 for all of these pieces, which is just, when you start to see some of the artwork that I have to show you, you're gonna be like, amazing. So anyways, this piece I'm gonna keep I've already started to style them up. My husband's like, that is the weirdest thing you've picked up by far. And that's saying something because I think that's some weird stuff. So I got this little guy that he was so cute. Okay, so moving on to some just like teeny tiny smalls and then we're gonna get to the artwork. So I just got this tiny like picture, fr brass picture frame. Um, I just thought it was so cute. I love when modern art is paired with um, like vintage frames, especially like gold gilt frames or like brass frames. So I thought I would maybe make like a really cute piece of like modern art um, and then put it in there. And it already has like the little hook to display it. Um, it's made in Italy, which a lot of this brass stuff is made in Italy. And then on the back, I think at one point it had a person in it um, and it was dated 1972. So it's definitely older definitely as old as 1972. So anyways, not super exciting, but I thought it was really cute. Another thing I thought was adorable is they had a few of these teeny tiny brass figurines. I thought this was really cute. I love to collect miniature things. And so I may, I haven't decided if I'm gonna sell this because it's just so petite. Um, and I think it will look really cute as part of my miniature collection that I'm like started of all sorts of stuff. Um, so that was really cute. And speaking of another like last miniature thing, I grabbed this like little tiny original painting. It was by uh, Bridget, say like Bridget in from Mill Creek, Washington. I need to look her up, but look at how cute that is. I thought it was absolutely adorable, so I grabbed this too. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to the artwork. So strap in you guys, because it is insane, the stuff that I got. So the first painting I got was this one, all original. I mean, look at this frame. I mean, this is insane. The blue on this frame, and then this is what the painting looks like. I mean, it is absolutely exquisite. It's artist signed. You can't really tell. We might be able to tell on the screen. But on the corner there, it's artist signed. 
On the back, it says something painted by a friend in San Mateo. But yeah, I just thought it was incredible. I mean, the frames on the artwork alone were amazing. And I actually bought some just frames because they were just too good to pass up. Those will be in the next video. But yeah, I thought this was beautiful. I was planning to sell this, then my mom saw it. And of course, if you guys watch my channel, you know it's very dangerous to show my mom the stuff that I find because she's always like, oh, I want that. And then she's like, I'll pay you for it. And I'm just like, mm-hmm, you wanna pay my prices for it? So it's hard because you know, when the woman gave birth to me, she always has the trump card on this stuff. She always can win, so we will see. It may be in my shop, it may not be, depending on my mom and, um, you know, what she ends up deciding, if she does really want it. Um, but yeah, I thought this piece was beautiful, so I picked it up. There was art everywhere, and it was moving so quickly. Um, so yeah, I'm just so grateful for all the pieces that I was able to find. I mean, they're just so many very cool pieces. Okay. So moving along to everything is like in front of me. Okay. So this piece is kind of hard to show because it is so big. Um, and it's also falling out of its frame, but I got this piece here. So it is a waterfall, probably somewhere in Oregon since we have so many, but yeah, this is an original painting. I can like show it kind of a close up. I thought this was incredible. Lucky for me, it was behind a bunch of clothes. So no one had grabbed it. So yeah, $15, 15, $15 for this. Can you believe that? $15 for this. This was, I think $10. Oh, this one was $10, $10 for an original signed artist signed framed piece of vintage art. I mean, what in the world? And then this one was 15 cause she thought, you know, it's, it's even nicer, so 15, and I was like, yes, I'll take it at 15. So yeah, 15 was, I thought, was so good for this. And then the next piece of art I got was this beautiful floral, I mean, look at this frame, it's just incredible, original um, piece here. I mean, the detail is just so beautiful. So yeah, this was like $5, I mean, it just was crazy. In the hall closet of this sale, was a whole, like the whole hall closet was a row of art and embroidery all framed. And it was all like this good. It was just was crazy. So I got this piece, another piece I got, oh God, here, I don't wanna, how's that like destroy the art in the process? Another piece of art I got was this one here. I thought this was beautiful too. I mean, look at the gold frame. This is another vintage piece. Um, original piece of art. Now this I may keep. I haven't decided. The other, most of the art I'm gonna actually, you know, sell. But this piece, ooh, is hard because it is, I just really like the colors. I love the gold frame and I love that it's a mountain landscape, which living in Oregon, um, you know, mountain landscapes, that's something that definitely appeals to us because we see it all the time. So I may or may not keep this, I don't know. Thought it was beautiful. Like anything you see in my videos that I express that I may keep, I always say that until someone makes me an offer I cannot refuse. <laughs> so if you guys ever see anything, you're like, you know what? That's something I really want. It's like perfect for XYZ decor. You know, I'm, I might be willing to let some of the stuff go. So, you know, I can't hoard it all. But um, this I thought was just so beautiful. I just don't find artwork that often um, that, you know, it just like of this quality and of this price point, even more importantly. So, um, I'm, t I, my tendency is to hoard it <laughs> because I'm just like, I don't know what I'm going to find you again. I don't want to keep it. Even if it's not necessarily like my style, you know, cause here the modern piece, you know, this, you can mix and match, but it's definitely very much a different aesthetic. So, I'm not sure on that one yet, but the other ones I've shown you so far, I definitely plan to sell. Okay. So another piece of teeny tiny art that I bought, which I definitely will keep because I love this. And of course, this is another one my mom was like, I kind of like it. It was this really adorable um, picture of sailboats and trees and water. So this is original as well. Um, you can't see, but yeah, it's a teeny tiny, it's actually art assigned very close in the, oh, in the bottom. There you go. Um, so yeah, I thought this was very, very cute. It's so funny, on the, on the back it says, 50 cents. <laughs> I'm just like, oh my goodness, can you imagine but getting this for 50 cents? 
Um, so, which I practiced, almost did um, based on the sale, but I thought this was very cute. So I had to grab it because it was teeny tiny, but like I said, I will be keeping this. Okay, so some stuff that I will be selling and we're gonna move on to like a new category of things um, from the sale um, are some of the embroidery, embroidered pieces or the cruel. And I can never say this right without sounding weird, cruel. Uh, but there was a whole like wall, of, like whole paneled wall of all of these embroidered pieces. And then there were more inside in the house. So um, I got, first up I grabbed this piece, which I thought was so, so cute and fun. I love how it's framed. Everything that is found that I found was really, really framed well. And for the most part, professionally framed. So this will be available in my Etsy shop, although it's gonna kill me because it's, it's so cute. I love it so much. Um, there are some that I will be keeping. I'm gonna show you those in the next video. So I got this one too. I thought the colors were lovely and the framing. Um, I love all the different texturings of this type of embroidery. I think it's really special. And then a favorite of mine, which I'm gonna sell it, but it's gonna like kill me to do it, is this one right here. I mean, look at the 3D nature of these ferns. I mean, come on, it's just insane. It's so beautiful. So um, yeah, so all these trees here, the waterfall, the flowers, and of course these like 3D ferns is from the 1980s. So it's just done by the, um, so yeah, so Gale, yeah, Gale from the 1980s is what it says, and, you know, framed. I actually really like this frame. It has a lot of detail. So yeah, I thought this was very cool. <sighs> I want to keep it so badly, but I like, <sighs> I can't keep all these things. So I thought these were really, really, I thought this was really pretty. Um, I'm feeling if I show this to my sister, she'd be like, are you gonna get that to me for Christmas since it's coming up? But I'd be like, no, nope. It's gonna be available for one of you guys. So I thought this was really special. So this will be available in my Etsy shop. And then kind of the last one I'm gonna list, although I think maybe in the next video I have a few, I'm gonna list two. Um, I thought this one was really, this is a little bit more modern. It almost looks like something that would have been created today because it's a little bit more modern. This is frame two, it has that gold section here. Uh, I just thought this was really beautiful too. Um, unfortunately on the back, someone scribbled off all the information on who made it, so that was a bummer. Um, but yeah, I thought this was a really beautiful piece too. Now, the best embroidered piece that I got, which you guys are gonna fall over when you see it, and I am going to keep it because I, when I saw it, I nearly, like, it was like a saying to me. I just loved it so much. And then when my mom saw it, she's like, shut up, are you kidding me? So this is like a tall, I'm sure you'll be like, of course, but it is this one right here. So look at how cute all of these the flowers are. I mean, they're so, so colorful. I absolutely fell in love with it. I thought it was phenomenal. I mean, it's so bright. All of the texturing, which is kind of, oh, there we go. You can kind of come across and see it. I mean, it's just stunning. It was just a stunning piece of embroidery. Now, I, I'm gonna be keeping this one, and this is one thing I'm kind of debating when you see the other embroidered pieces in the next video, because frankly, there was so much in this haul. I had, like I said, I had to, I had to split it between two um, that I might actually take it out of the framing because this type of framing is just a little too dark for me. Um, and so I actually may consider, um, and also this has become cloudy. Now it could be, no, it's not just because it's dirty. It's because I think the glass has become cloudy. So yeah, I may actually try to frame it up myself, like change up the framing um, and then make these like vintage pieces look a little bit more today by just changing the framing. Um, because yeah, this like dark wood, it's almost like a veneer too. Not really what I'm into. I mean, imagine this with a really like light, light, um, like blonde wood frame. I think that would look really, really pretty. So anyways, I was just, when I saw this and the size, I was like, huh. Yes, you are coming home with me and I'm going to keep you. Okay, so the last piece that I got was this stool. Now, I know you guys are like, okay, of all the things you show us, you're ending on a stool, usually I end on like the best note. So technically this is like my best note thing to end. But stools for me and my Etsy shop sell really well. They're very, very popular. Now this has like just a lot of great rustic patina. I might be doing a pop-up here by the end of the year. So even if I decide not to list this, um, 
you know, this is something that, you know, spray painted down into, you know, it would be great for displaying stuff in a booth. So anyways, the downside of this, and this is where I may not sell it, is this right here is not great. So yeah, that's a bit of a bummer, but I should be able to glue it and maybe be able to repair it and kind of see where we're at. Like I said, I may just keep it for myself and use it for a booth. Uh, but I think that's about it. So I'm sorry to wrap this up quickly because I'm getting the alert that my battery is going to die at any moment. So I'm going to just sign off here. So yeah, this is the first part of this amazing haul that I got from an estate sale. Part two is coming up soon. So make sure you keep an eye out for it because I have more embroidery to show you, more art. I have brass pieces in that, a few more pieces of pottery. I like I have more things. So definitely check me out or definitely keep an eye out for that video too. Okay, so I was hoping to be able to sign off before my battery cut me off, but no. So I'm just going to say goodbye now. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the haul. More things coming, like I said. And if you're looking for like thrifting and decorating content between these haul videos, make sure you're following me on Instagram because I share styling tips and I take you thrifting with me. Um, and I do a lot of fun video content related to vintage home decor. So definitely check me out there. Okay, so thanks again for watching, and I can't wait to see you in my next thrifting and decorating video. Take care!